Hi friends! On today's video blog, I'm going to show you how to recreate a super easy, super affordable red carpet look. Rashida Jones recently hosted the GLAAD Media Awards and she looked amazing. I spoke with her makeup artist Joe Stratel who showed me how to recreate the look at home. Stratel used all CoverGirl products and I have them all with me so I'm going to show you exactly what to do so that you can recreate them at home. So first what we did um, is Stratel used CoverGirl's Natural Luxe um, Liquid Silk Foundation. This is an SPF 10 sunscreen um, in it, and I'm going to be using shade 350. So what I'm going to do is put just a little dab of it on my hand, um, and the foundation itself goes on really sheer and feels really natural. And the look that Rashida Jones had was also just super natural and super dewy. So you really don't need much. You can put it on just a powder or blush brush uh, rather than a foundation brush and just lightly dab it on your skin and don't forget your your neck and your jawline and you can just put it all over and this gives you an even tone um, and just a really natural dewy skin the next thing we're going to use is covergirl and olay's simply ageless sculpting blush and this is in plush peach um, so this is a color that looked great on her skin and actually works really well with mine. We have very similar skin tones. So it's a really nice um, creamy formula as you can see. So you can just take um, a little dab of it and put it on your cheeks and just lightly dab your skin. And this just creates um, a beautiful flushed look which is great for daytime or nighttime. The next thing that we're going to do is add um, some eyeliner. This is CoverGirl's Liquiline Blast in Black Fire, so it's kind of a silvery black color. And I love these liners. What Rashida Jones' makeup artist did was put it underneath the eye and also on the waterline. And you can do that, or you can just put it underneath. I'm actually also going to put it in the corner of my eye over here. And I love the smudger on the other side, so I'm going to smudge it out a little bit. And I'm just going to do this to give a more pumped up look. So the next thing that she did was use Lash Blast Volume in Very Black. And I love this mascara because I think it just gives you that false eyelash look. So I highly recommend this mascara. So you can add as many layers of mascara as you want, depending on how dramatic you want the look to be. You can add more mascara to the outer lashes, um, which will elongate your eyes and just give you um, a more dramatic look. So the next thing and the last thing that we're going to do is use um, this beautiful red tawny port, that's the color, and it's just a gorgeous deep um, shade of red. And so it's um, the emphasis was on her lips. She wore a black tuxedo by Hugo Boss and she wore her hair in a, um, in a messy bun so it was really um, emphasizing the lips and then contrasting um, that masculine look with the tuxedo with the feminine um, lip. So that's what we're going to do. Um, what I love about this lipstick is it's really soft, um, it doesn't dry out your lips, and it's really creamy on. So we're just going to blot it on a little bit, and what her makeup artist did was put some on and then blot it, and you can just use your hand. And then add a little more. And then this gives you a berry stained lip. So this is actually the final look. If you want to just take your brush and go over any parts of your face that you think um, need to just be blended in, you can do that. But otherwise, this is the beautiful look that Rashida Jones um, had at the GLAAD Media Awards. And these are the products that you can use. It's CoverGirl's uh, Ageless Sculpting Blush. The Queen's Collection uh, for CoverGirl cover Lipstick in Tawny Port. Natural Luxe uh, Liquid Foundation, I'm using 350. Lash Blast Volume in Very Black. And finally, Liquiline CoverGirl Eyeliner in Black Fire. Enjoy and hope you get to try it yourself.